Hi guys, this is Rainbow Days. Uh, Josel with the Bayou Corn Same Coat page. And I've come upon some bubble sites here. This is what we were seeing in the bayou before the Senko happened. And this is also what's all over the place, although <clears throat> some much more vigorous areas are bubbling. Uh, still, it's methane coming up. And uh, I decided to do a little, little test here. Because I'm surrounded by it. Okay, here's my boat. This is how close I am, maybe five or six feet away. Lighter. Okay, buddy. Cross your fingers for me. Look at that. I didn't blow up. Imagine that. Alright, here's a, here's a little bit bigger site. Let me go over there to it. Okay. Boat. I'm actually going to almost run over it, so I'm going to get pretty close to it there with my lighter. Fire hurts me worse than anything. There we go. See, let me pretty much get over these bubbles. Look at that big one right there. That's as close as I can get without falling out the boat. You see that one right there? Okay, hold on. One, two, three. One, two, three. Look at that. I didn't blow up. That's because this gas is <coughs> leaking into the atmosphere and dissipating as soon as it's hitting the air. The danger is if gas would accumulate in a building or a shed and build up, just like any gas, um, that would be a danger with any gas. Gas has not been found in any homes. We have the methane monitors, and um, you know it's bubbling in the bayou, and this is how it's been bubbling since before the sinkhole. Everybody thinks we're going to blow up if somebody lights a cigarette or there's a spark, anything like that. There you go. Here's some right over me, or I'm right over them, I should say. Here we go. I mean, I'm, I'm almost touching the water where they're coming up. And I didn't blow up. Imagine that.